When I started looking for a stand for working on my airplanes or putting them together, I found a lot of expensive junk. Then I found the deluxe airplane stand. And this is how it shows up. And I have to admit that it was totally damage free, but it was packed in a box with about a zillion of these things. I hate them, but they do work. I got the deluxe model, and as far as I can tell, the only difference between this and the standard model is that this one comes with the casters, which really do help if you're going to use this around a shop. The only assembly you have to do is putting on the cross members for the feet on, but they do have fixed screws like this that are meant for the Torque X kind of drivers. I used to build and work on race cars, so I've got all kinds of tools that don't make any sense, but in this instance, they came in handy. And because they use all finger operated knobs at all the joints and for holding the wheels on, I didn't need any of those tools to do anything else. Newly finished wood doesn't like to slide against itself, so I added a little bit of paste wax and that smoothed that out quite a bit. Just using the plain stand will eventually smooth everything out as well. And I know somebody's going to ask, so I used Johnson's paste wax. It's a simple floor wax, there's nothing fancy. I even took the time to move all the joints through their full range of motion just to be sure that nothing was stuck or nothing bad was going to happen when I put an airplane on it. Everything turned out to be just fine. All of the hardware used on a deluxe plane stand is first rate and all locking stuff so you shouldn't have to worry about any of this loosening up over time. And they use these big finger operated knobs to give you a lot of leverage so you can lock everything down without having to find a tool. And if these knobs turn out to be too hard for you to work, you might not want to tell too many people about that. Actually, putting a plane on the deluxe plane stand is pretty easy, as you'd expect it to. This is the fuselage for my 91-inch Extra. I didn't even have to stretch anything out for this to be stable in the stand. The cradles that actually support the plane all have nice foam rubber padding on them. And they got a huge amount of adjustment range. I really like how easy it is to move a plane around on this stand, including taking it outside to turn it around, because some of my planes are kind of big for turning around in the garage. You can see in this wider shot that there's a lot of adjustments on this stand that I haven't even begun to use. And you can set just about any working height you want up to about 40 inches from the floor. Now I fully intended for this stand to go in my trailer, and it still might go in there when I go on a trip to a different field, but it works so nice in the shop, I'm leaving it right there for now. I also love being able to put a plane at a big angle, because that makes a lot of things easier to work on. Plus you can set the plane up so you can work on it while you're sitting down, which is a lot easier on the back. So if you're still working on your planes on a bench, like I did, you might want to consider looking at the deluxe airplane stand. It makes life a lot easier for you and it protects your planes.